I'm not gonna be able to post to the syndicate. Why? Because I'm on my phone. Oh, I'm sure people will join. Are you live right now? Yeah. Hey! What's going on, everyone? Every zero person that's not watching live. Yay! Hi, future, no one! Future people. <laughs> Shoot, I just dropped a freaking fruit snack. Right in my crotch. <laughs> it's a crotch snack now. <laughs> Alexander, what's up? Hey, we got our first person. Beth Herb... Her, what is that, Herbert? What's up? Hey, Beth. Isn't yep. Beth over in the UK? Yeah, she's in Wales. Nice. I think. We're driving. Rob Payne, Connor Boyle, what's up? Right, and we, uh, since he's driving. We're, I'm driving in the great state of Indiana. Yeah, right we're now. in Indiana right now. We're just south of Indianapolis. I have a fruit snack stuck to my freaking tooth. Hold on. I'm gonna merge also. <laughs> I'm like multitasking right now. <laughs> I'm merging. What's up, guys? I'm eating fruit snacks, my child's fruit snacks. I got Sour Patch Kids for the road, and... Oh, dude. Nobody worry, I do have a rock star. Rock star, if you ever watch this, look me up. It's early, yeah, it's early, but uh, we have like an hour-ish left drive. <laughs> Robert, I just said, Josh and Cincy, both you sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> the trip is going... Uh, awesome so far we haven't ran into any traffic we've just been chit chatting up if you guys are on the syndicate will you share this link to that page yeah where's foxy he can share it for us is uh, foxy on there yet i don't know adam eisen what's up michael taylor what's up beth says hi again hi beth really ask <laughs> someone's kind of coco bro <laughs> coco bros you got the pennywise with the balloon that's an awesome pop i need that one jonathan mertz what's up dude hi from germany we should try and find an FYE up here so I can find that damn Pennywise with the teeth. There is an FYE up here. There is? Someone said there's like a Kokomo Mall or something. There you, you go. Got, you guys are my favorite YouTubers. So thanks, Dream. Dean, goals today, just get as much as possible. And uh, since he has a bunch of stuff to trade. Uh, my other goal is to finish this bag of fruit snacks without <laughs> even touching one because I'm a germaphobe and I just touched a gas station door handle and I don't like to touch food after touching gas station door handles because I know people like scratch their nuts and stuff <laughs> before touching, touching that door handle. <laughs> Am I going to get flagged for that? Are we going to no, get flagged for nuts? I don't care. Nuts are food, um, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nuts are food. The peanuts. Um, what's wrong with the connection? Probably because we're out in almost the middle of nowhere. We're, there's cows, literally, yeah, right there. Literally. You well, just missed the cows. Yeah, hopefully you can see that. <laughs> they were I'll, grazing. Yeah, they were grazing cows. <laughs> um, would you guys see Justice League or Thor Ragnarok? What would oh, you rather man. see? Um, I would rather see Justice League because I know how Thor Ragnarok is going to end. I uh, don't know how Justice League is going to end. Robert Ott, thank you for sharing it. Uh, Jeff.com, what's up? Jimpy Zay, yo, what's up? So we, Dean Rodriguez, what's up, Jimmy? You're still here. Uh, Cincy's channel is uh, Cincy Nerd. Oh, I'm gonna get this live. <laughs> Cincy Germaphobe. <laughs> <laughs> you got that human torch? That's what's up. Yeah, I'm at um, youtubecom slash Cincy C I N C Y, not D. Not Cindy. N E R D Cincy Nerd. Please. Visit my channel, stay for a while, look around, have fun there. You can't open this. Talk about germaphobe, I'm opening this with my mouth. See, dude? <laughs> Thanks for making me think oh, of that. Oh, yeah. How many people touch that? Just me. Sure, <laughs> go ahead and believe that. <laughs> the collector, what's up, man? I gotta turn the maps on so we know how to get there. Austin Collins, what's up? Crooked Mark says I'm a savage. Josh, I'm almost at 4,000. Am I really? Yeah, I am. I'm like 90 something away, I think. Um, foot and mouth disease. I, I've had foot and mouth disease before from my son. That was awesome. Yeah, kids are pretty disgusting. Thanks for reminding me of that. Let's see, I'm gonna try to put this here for a second. Oh, yeah, that is perfect. Just as long as I don't hit any bumps. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Kokomo's in Indiana. That's a good view, too. Look at that sun flare. I'm fucking uh, Michael that. Bay. You're like... J.J. <laughs> <laughs> Abrams. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, holographic Emperor, Emperor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holographic Emperor? You, wait, you sent that? Or no? <clears throat> Coco Mo. Coco Bro. Coco Bro Toys. Close now. Like, Closed today. <laughs> Not closed today. Here's an orange one. Oh, I'm gonna have 
eight people, so. Eight people? Yeah, I, the connection probably kicked people up. Uh, go. We're the dynamic duo. Okay, okay, man, it's all eyes. I changed the voice of my Siri to an Australian lady. Me too. <laughs> Did you really? Oh, it's been that way. <laughs> Can you record what Masters of the Universe stuff? Yeah. Between Cincy and I's video, we'll probably have the whole store filmed. Eric Eisner says, what's up? What's up, Eric? Joey Fulmer. Joey, what's going on? I'm glad we did that trade, man. He's the one with the Conan Jedi pop. Oh, nice. Oh, you did it? Yeah. Yeah. And... yeah. I've always wanted a Conan pop. Conan's hilarious. Conan's awesome. I want one. I want a Conan. That's like any Conan pop is on my like grail list. What's your favorite series to collect outside of Pop Toys? I gotta put this on cruise control so I don't like find out that I'm going like 110 miles an hour. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry. What was that question for me? No, just both of us. What's my favorite series? Yeah. Mezco's. Okay. Mine would probably be. Oh man. Is it 65 or 70 here? Um. Let's go with 70. Yeah, that's what's up. Which Jimmy, means I'm going 80. <laughs> Jimmy Doyle says what's up. So are we going to count how much since he says freaking? Yeah. Freaking! And count how many times I say legit and obviously and what else do I say? Do you guys prefer freaking, freaking, or friggin? Is there any preference in my alternate F-bomb? I would say frickin'. Frickin'? I like frickin'. Frickin' sounds better. Frickin' rolls off the yeah. tongue. <laughs> it's like, it's it's like 60 degrees right now. It's kind of cold out. Uh-oh, Foxy for real in the house. Foxy! The Foxy Fox real. People are saying drop the F-bomb. Drop the F-bomb yeah. entirely? So no freaking frickin' or friggin'? Oh, actually say the F-bomb right now? You'll get demonetized. Do you guys think... Yeah, fuck. There. I got it. Wow! <laughs> Do you guys think that the Tiger Strike Wolverine... Yeah. We miss you too, Foxy. You should be here in this car, Foxy, in the back seat. Yeah. In right Tay Tay's here. booster seat. Well, Dice Man, uh, resend, uh, since your name is different than probably what I've been talking to you guys, Re-message me and tell me what you're looking for and do the same for a Cincy. He sent you the bloody Xenomorph. Oh, sweet. Who is? Uh, Dice Man. 316. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, we're going to try to go live uh, from Kokomo. We'll see how it goes. Um, Cassandra, what's up? Dean says, there you go. It's my F-bomb. God, there is. These comments are rolling in fast. This, this video is now rated PG-13. Yep. Josh. Yep, all because of me. Uh, Frankie G, thank you so much, dude. We're going to try to have a fantastic haul. And just so you guys know, we'll be going live on his channel from the Nerd Bar later on today or tonight or what, I don't know. Having an adult beverage. Yes. Out of the keg. Yes. Chris, uh, Chris John says, what's up, fellas? What's up? Uh, are we targeting are we targeting any specific figures today Eric oh Eisner? yes yes it really depends on how much trade credit I get because I shared this in my video Hold on. I have Bad are we buffering yep I have six boxes of stuff back there about 1800 to two thousand dollars worth of stuff I'm hoping they take it all if they take it all I'm hoping they give me a good fair trade credit price and based on that, that'll determine what I'm actually going to leave with and what I'm looking for. But if I get what I'm hoping I get, I'm hoping to walk away with a quarter scale Michelangelo. I'm hoping to walk away with <clears throat> a new Mezco figure, a new SH figure art figure, and possibly a Hot Toys figure. If I get what I'm hoping to get. So fingers crossed. I'm very pessimistic right now. Um, I have to go into it with low expectations and be pleasantly surprised if they offer me a decent deal. So right. that's what um, that's the mentality you should have if you're taking your collection in to trade or sell. Have the lowest possible expectations possible. I said possible twice. <laughs> and um, be pleasantly surprised. So there you go. Foxy for real is going back to work. See you later, dude. What? What the frick? There you go. There's the first one. Ah. Well, that smell like that? 
tar. Black top, yeah, tar. <laughs> Nasty. So it still says very bad connection, but people are still answering, and I have full bars. Good. So I have no idea. Hopefully you guys are not buffering or seeing us buffer or skipping or any of that. Let me know right now. Is it is it still bad? Is it a connection? How bad is the connection? Yeah. Say good or bad for connection. Thumbs up, thumbs down. So there's 32 people on right now. So, okay, now we're good. We're literally out in BFE right now. Yeah, like, I'm going to show you guys what we're driving. This is what we're looking at. Cornfields. Yep. <laughs> for miles and miles and miles. So that's... Pretty much what we're on the board for. I'm trying to get you in there. I was only going 70 and now people are pissed <laughs> flying around me. And then I'm going to speed up and look, that yeah. jerk is speeding yeah. up now. <laughs> oh, we like this glare because it reminds us of uh, JJ Abrams and Michael Bay. <laughs> we're trying to get very uh, lens flare, lens flare, sun flare, whatever the hell it's called. The temperature is like. 60-ish. Hashtag lens flare. Hashtag this lady's gonna cut me off right now. Watch. Yeah, Watch here, this. Let's put this right here. Okay. Oh, didn't make it. Now he's pulling out his gun to shoot me. <laughs> there we go. Uh, do you think Hella will die in Ragnarok? Yes. Yeah. She's gonna have a hella gruesome death. <laughs> Bad jokes. Hashtag dad jokes. There's that casino. D-Rod78, what's up? I can't see shit with these glasses. I'm gonna change the angle up a little bit, guys. There we go. Raymond Rodriguez. Uh, I'm looking for shit. everything that catches my eye. Where's the oh shit bar at? <laughs> <laughs> That was a close call. Um, that was, that was, uh, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, mom. We're being safe. Uh, I'm looking for some loose toy biz legends, and the pops there are insane. I was telling him about it. Every one of their pops, besides the vaulted and chase pops are eight eight or nine dollars oh, i forget sorry. see that stuff you don't see in a video because it gets edited out <laughs> but there's eight or nine they're eight or nine dollars and that's like exclusives so even um like hot topic fye walmart exclusive any of those pops that are there they're only going to be eight dollars so i might try to aim for some good pops and then uh, some loose Toy Biz X-Men Legends and maybe some Star Wars figures because last time they had a lot but I was more on a Marvel kick. That's the other thing I'm looking for is some older Black Series figures. I'd love to find an Anakin, a Darth Maul, a Emperor, um, Bosk, IG-88. By the way, are they ever going to make a Dengar Black Series 6 inch figure? We need one of those. And we need a 4 Lom and a Zuckus. Yes, we do. Shout out to the 44 people watching oh, at yeah. 11.45. That's pretty early. Shout out to people that know who 4 Lom and Zuckus are. Yeah. It says, JJ Abrams is Sun Flare. And Bay is explosions. Let's just keep it a JJ road trip. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Robert, for that positive. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my neck. <laughs> All right, so should we talk about NYCC? First of all, let's talk about who got an SNES on yeah. Friday morning. Anyone yeah. get an SNES? These are good. And follow-up question, have you started playing it? And follow up to the follow up, are you somewhat disappointed by it? Like you were expecting more, or is it like everything you ever dreamed? Dean, SNES. Dean Rodriguez got one, but he flipped it. Nice. How much are they going for now on the, on the flip market? Art Gutierrez, what's up, dude? What's up, Art? Art's my cousin. We're both Filipino. <laughs> what are you talking about on the live stream? We're all related, yeah. Um, someone says, hey, you two, I love your hunts. So thank you. You guys have a lot of energy this morning. We've 
I've been up since 6.30. Yeah, I've been up since uh, 7-ish, when Mrs. Cincy frickin' threw her arm over and hit me in the nose. <laughs> um, and then I, I had a hearty breakfast with Josh Pence at McDonald's. Yep. Sausage McMuffin and a breakfast burrito. That's and uh, had Good. some caffeine. Greg Cook Photography, Morgan, uh, yeah, Morgan Thomas says what's up to both of us. What's up? Oh, Robert, I'm sorry. I know you've asked this question six times. Uh, are you getting rid of all your Marvel Legends today? No, I did not. So last Keep night... Miles. Keep right. Oh, shut up, Siri! <laughs> Try to talk here. You're interrupting, Australian Siri. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. That outburst. Richard Smith. I'm just looking for X-Men um, ones right now. I would like Storm, um, any villains, and uh, a Gambit. That would be cool, too. But go ahead. All right, so Marvel Legends. Last night while I was watching Foxy Fox Reels live cast, check that out. Free plug for Foxy. Yeah, Even Foxy. though he's working, sell Boo. out. Boo. I <laughs> call the guy sell it for work. <laughs> I was going through all my Marvel Legends figures, and I was having a very... I was going to get rid of all of them. I was going to trade them all in, sell them all. And I was having a very tough time because a lot of them kind of had sentimental value for me. Like, just remembering where I was, what was going on, if I found something with Tay-Tay or P-Dog while I was hunting. And a lot of them just brought back memories of, like, the comic books that I loved. So, I would say... How many did I keep? Probably about 25, 30... I'd say 30-ish. I kept around 30 of them. I can show you guys tonight the ones that I decided to keep, the ones that made the cut during the live cast. I'll go into the unfinished part, show you that setup. Josh saw it this morning. He is the first person outside my family to actually see that, so there you go. Yeah, no, oh, actually, honor. I take that back. The guy that uh, fixed our plumber. The, our pl the guy that fixed our plumber. <laughs> our plumber that fixed our plumbing. Oh, also the guy that set up our radon thing. They you saw the collection. So you're like the third. <laughs> I'm the first in all reality, just so everybody knows. So yeah, I decided to keep about 30 Marvel Legends. I'm probably not gonna be buying a whole lot more. I will say that I am looking for that Human Torch. And the reason is, sorry to go off on a tangent, but you know me, if you watch my videos, I go off on freaking tangents. I, I read the newest comic, Marvel Legacy. Go get it. If you are at all into comic books, if you're a Marvel fan, go buy Marvel Legacy number one on the newsstands right now. Why do, why do I say newsstands? It's, there's no newsstands anymore. Go to your freaking comic book shop, buy Marvel Legacy. It's $6. It is an expensive comic book. It is well worth the read. Why is it six? Because it's double sized. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, were, it's, you, were you just talking about that in your last video? Mm -hmm. That one? Okay. So go get that one. Where's these comments at? Spo spoiler alert. Let's I want the Human Torch again. I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to give any more spoilers. I want the Human Torch. I want the Fantastic Four. Oh, is that in the way? No, it's not in the way. They were just asking what it was. Oh, it's my it's the cord charging for cord phone. for my phone. Sorry, Because I'm using the uh, nav, the navigation. So it's draining my battery. Damn Siri. Six and a half miles. Australian Siri. <laughs> I really like Australian accents. It's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it makes it a lot better when she's yelling at you when you're going the wrong way. Yes. Like, if I could get Margot Robbie's voice to be my Siri, there you go right there. That that should happen. That should be a thing. Do you still want to see <laughs> the Mar the WWE figures that DM Productions has for trade? Yeah. Yes. I'm looking for elites. So, if you have some elite figures for trade, send me some pictures. Um, I have to... I am way, way behind on my uh, DMs on Facebook. I think I'm up to about 180 DMs on there. So... There's a lot that I have to answer, so don't think I'm ignoring you, please. If, if you sent me a DM and I haven't responded, it's just because I'm super be uh, behind on there. Um, uh, what's that, Josh? You, you get extra points for digging with the whole fam. Uh, elaborate on that a little more. I'm not sure. Hopefully it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Josh met my mother-in-law, yeah. sister-in-law. I met everybody today. Nephew, P-Dog, Tay-Tay, and Mrs. Cincy. And the dog. Really. And the dog. Yeah, the dog was taking a big old dump when just pulled up. <laughs> We're trying to take a dump. I was trying to get him to take yeah. a dump. He was excited. He liked Josh, by the way. Yeah, me and him bonded very well. You can take him home if you want, by the way. I, yeah, I'll, I'll trade you dogs. 
Uh, hopefully Karina's is not watching this. <laughs> Jimmy Pater, sorry, I can't read. Okay, Pater. Josh never learned to read. No, guys. I didn't. We have fifty people on right now. Damn, that's awesome. Damn. We're, we're approaching Indianapolis, so hopefully our signal's getting better. Share the shit out of this video. You just got the Pennywise pop. That's what's up. I think we're going to try to stop at a couple of Walgreens on the way because um, Dice Man, thank you. I did see your message pop up on Insta. I'll make sure to look at it before we go hunting, see if I can get you with anything. Um, uh, your boy. Sorry. <laughs> uh, shout out to you. If I don't let it out this end, it comes out the other end. Yeah, I'd rather <laughs> come out north than south. <laughs> Being stuck in a damn car. <laughs> Uh, Troy Roach says, what's up, S uh, Josh and Cincy? How's it going, man? What's up? And I just want to plug my own video. I did something that I thought was pretty damn hilarious at the beginning of my next, this video. I saw the footage. It's freaking funny. <laughs> so check out his video once yeah. he publishes it of this <laughs> collab hunt. It's funny stuff. It made me laugh. Mm -hmm. That's all I care about. You guys got to laugh at our videos. Someone asked me to do Bailey's voice at some point during this thing. You don't know who Bailey is. You're a wrestler? She's a wrestler, and I did her voice when I bought her figure the other day, so Bailey's voice might pop in there from time to time. Um, <laughs> Greg Cook asked what comic that you said it was a must-have. Marvel Legacy, number one. It's a double-sized issue. It's uh, on the newsstands right now at a comic book store near you. Featherstone713 says, holy ass, the dynamic duo. What's up, guys? Holy ass indeed. <clears throat> Andrew Rose says, too sweet. Josh, if you see any Five Nights at Freddy's Fun Times figure. I just too sweeted everyone. Honestly, I don't even know what the hell Fun Nights at Freddy is. So I'm it's sorry. a video game. Is it? It's a horror video game that, that kids play. Huh. About like It's like a Chuck E. Cheese that's gone like evil. Oh, and all of the animatronic things like are like murderous and stuff. Huh. I, I think. Isn't that what it's about? Keep right onto I-465 North. Okay. We will. Thank you, Margot Robbie. <laughs> I'm just gonna imagine that's Margot Robbie. That's, that's good. <laughs> kind of have a thing. <laughs> don't tell Mrs. Cincy. Yeah, don't watch these streams. Kind of have a thing. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite? My favorite Star Wars figure is probably my Savage Opress from the Clone Wars. What about you? My favorite Star Wars figure <clears throat> is. One. Thank you, Eric Eisner. It's either the Vintage Collection General Grievous, mm, that was three, my second. And, three and three quarter inch, or God, why does it smell like ass all of a sudden? Not, not me. Or, is there a swamp nearby? Or <laughs> um, I really like the Qui Gon Jinn six inch figure. I like that figure. Plus, I like the character. He was awesome. Yes. Before he became snow. <gasps> Shout out to Rockstar <laughs> Drinks. They should sponsor Josh. Thank you. I 100% think they should give me at least a t-shirt. For the record, I don't think Qui-Gon Jinn is Snoke. I just like throwing stuff out there to make people think. <laughs> I like, um... Oh, man. I, still, I do think that Rey is a Palpatine, though. I will stick to that yeah. theory until they reveal it in the movie. And then I'm gonna be the guy in the theater in the middle of the damn movie that says, I told you so! Are we still going to try to do that? Me, Go to the green and yeah. Yeah. Right That'd be hey, fun. Anyone in the Cincinnati area, you guys are invited to that showing. We're gonna to go to the Cine Beach show. You have to be over 21 though. Yeah. Uh, Casey Bellman, if you're watching this, Toy Bills. Where am I supposed to go? 465? You guys are invited too. Kenny, if uh, wife lets him out of the hell. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, I love you, man. We miss you. Paul Hughes is on here. <laughs> Paul Hughes says, it's a fact. Superman prefers denim underwear. What? <laughs> you smelt it, you dealt it. It wasn't me. <laughs> Trust me, I'll own up to it. And I'll start laughing. What I usually do is you'll just see me grin. And then the windows will come down. That's how you'll know. Josh, can you ask Cincy if he's going to buy the new Raw Ring with the exclusive Goldberg figure? I've thought about it. It looks really cool. Plus, I think that's the only way you can get a Goldberg Elite figure. Really? I remember watching him at Hair Arena, and he uh, jackknifed... Jackhammered. Jackhammered the big show. 
Nice. I have pictures of it. That's awesome. Yeah. Man. How in the hell do you pick that big son of a bitch up? I don't know. That guy's huge. By the way, we're officially in Indianapolis, Indiana right now. So shout out to anyone that's in Indianapolis. Yeah. We're driving around your city right now. Yes, we are. Uh, my favorite Lego Star Wars set. Whew. Um, I have the UCS Slave One, but it's not built yet. What's UCS? Uh, Ultimate Collector Series. Oh, it's that's like the, the big one. Big over scale. What'd you get that one for? Reasoning or price? Price. Uh, Two hundred. Reasoning is it's it's freaking awesome. Yeah. It's well, Krina bought it for me for my birthday. Oh, nice. Yeah. So shout out to Krina that's not watching. <laughs> What's your favorite Filipino food? Uh, my mom, when we were growing up, didn't really make much Filipino food because she left the Philippines at like 18 and she's notoriously a bad cook. So really it's Filipino fried rice, which she would just make fried rice, put in like, I think it was mango, and put in spam, chunks of spam, and I freaking loved it. It was the most ghetto <laughs> dinner ever, but it was so good. I loved it. I don't even think that's a Filipino food, but a Filipino lady made it for me. So there you go. Well, that counts. <laughs> I guess so. Um, someone's wanting to know if you're watching Bella on Dancing with the Stars. Who's Bella? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, We're here. Nikki Bella? We're here. Hey, sorry. I had to accelerate really fast because <laughs> there was a car driving really slow. So I like went like, I guess, 70 fast. to 80 <laughs> like that. And uh, you guys just went flying there. <laughs> I think you mean, is it Nikki Bella? She is my favorite Bella sister, by the way. No, I haven't watched her on Dancing with the Stars. What kind of car are we driving? We are in a uh, Lamborghini. Uh, Lamborghini uh, Aventador. <laughs> it's an Infinity G37 X. Uh, uh, when are you? Oh God, dude, these disappear so fast. When you guys are out, look for the Samurai Darth Vader. Oh yeah. The, um, who makes that one? Isn't it? Is it Figu Arts? Uh, I have no idea. I thought it was the Play Arts. I think it's either Figu Arts or Play Arts. I don't know. It looks awesome though. Same with the Stormtrooper. They're asking who's in our back seat. Uh, Paul Hughes says Bandai makes them. Oh, okay. Bruce Lee, Josh, Cincy, what's up? Josh, can you ask Cincy if he'll DJ my birthday party? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is Bruce Lee asking. Um, I only do that like once a year and it's for very, very super special occasions. Not saying your birthday party is not a super special occasion, but I already did it twice this year and that's exceeding my once a year DJ limit. Uh, okay, Carnival Comics is close by. I guess that's it for us. Carnival Comics. Yo, yo, what's up guys? What kind of food are you getting for lunch? Hey, let me ask you, I'm not sure yet, maybe Raising Cane's if we can find one, oh, but let me ask please. you guys this. Have you guys ever been to the Toy Pit in the Indianapolis area? We were thinking about hitting that, there's 70 by the way. Oh. We were thinking about hitting that up probably on the way back. But let us know if you've ever been to the Toy Pit. See you later, Cooper. Yeah, Toy Pit. Uh, I want to go to Tokumo. 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 Yes, I'll, we will record the Masters of the Universe. Um, where are we going now? Is that what they just said? Yeah, we're actually heading to Kokomo right now. Uh, Ganon says, nice to see us again. What's up, Ganon? Since he don't drop shit when you're... When you, oh, yeah. Don't what? Don't drop shit when you walk into Kokomo. Drop shit? Yeah, don't, don't poop in your pants. <laughs> I'm glad I wore my brown pants today. Paul said he owns the toy pit. Don't ask me about it. <laughs> uh, Cassandra thinks we were driving in a Bentley. I wish it was a Bentley. Yeah, I close. don't have Bentley money. No, nope. that AdSense isn't. I don't have Logan Paul money. <laughs> or Jake Paul money for that matter. Yeah. Memphis Dale, what's up, man? Uh, someone asked when coming to Dallas. I might be there the 14th, 15th, and 16th of October. I think I'm going to be doing a um, collaboration hunt with Rube the Great. Narc, if you're watching this, you're invited too. But yeah, I might be headed to uh, Dallas in the very near future. 
I want to go to Dallas Vintage Toys. So if you guys are in the area and you want to meet up, if you're free, um, I'll see you there. That's freaking awesome. Um, please show some horse out. Who needs a Pennywise Chase? I need a Jason Chase. Um, I will full-heartedly say between both of our videos, the store will get everything shown. So, got a very bad connection and we're in the fucking middle of the city. <laughs> They're probably still seeing No, it's okay though. Let's do a box. I don't care. Oh, by the way, we just passed Interstate 69, dudes! <laughs> I'm so childish. <laughs> How am I in my 40s, honestly? <laughs> Dropped off. Glad we're back though. How many people are still there? 46. We're in Indianapolis. I'm not sure why we're losing connection, but. Yeah. We got you need to watch your weight eating all that sugar. Trust me. I'll be nice. I need to watch my weight. I, I have gained nine pounds since uh, my Florida vacation. So. I will be going on a diet very soon. Yeah. Um, oh, someone, I don't know who it was. Someone asked, what do we think about the Human Torch figure? I haven't seen it in person yet. I haven't seen it in, a per in person, but I do want it. I like the idea that it's translucent plastic. Pretty much, if you want me to buy a figure, just make it in translucent plastic and I'll probably buy it. I saw someone <coughs> post, like... <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm gonna hold it. Uh, what are you guys hunting for today? Just start watching that. Uh, we're going to Kokomo Toys. Since he has about six boxes full of figures to hopefully trade in, and, and he's going to try to get some Mezco um, if they have any, a hot toy, depending on what they have. Yeah. Possibly quarter scale uh, Michelangelo. Michelangelo NECA figure. The um, goal is for them to take all of my stuff and say, you have this amount to spend in our store. If that happens, I will be happier than a pig in poop. <laughs> <laughs> um, what the hell else? This, this store, Kokomo, sometimes they get their figures and pops in earlier than retailers do. Like when... The Last Jedi stuff came out, and like the 40th anniversary card backs, they had them before like Walmart and stuff had them on shelves. Oh wow! Like that's where I ordered a couple of my Wave Two figures from was their eBay store. Hmm. Because they uh oh when they got the when the Netflix Wave came out, they got eight cases and it sold out in one day, all eight cases. So we might get lucky and maybe find, find some stuff early. Yeah. Or like uh, like the specialty series pops. I know that Predator pops should probably mine. What is the next Black Series wave that's due out anyway? Who's in that wave? I think it's Snoke and um, uh, Jaina Solo. Oh, that's right. I yeah. think it's those two, but I don't know who else is in the wave. Do you guys know who else is in the next Black Series wave outside of Snoke and uh, Jaina Solo? For 43 people, there's really not a lot of comments going. So if you're watching this, just say hi. Just to make sure that we know that you're still there. Yeah, yeah. we just want to see your lovely comments. Oh, Tarkin. Oh, he says Tar Tarkin in there. Oh, they're doing a Tarkin? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're doing a Tarkin and a Rebel Fleet Trooper. Oh, wow. Like the, yeah. Wait, Rebel Fleet? Oh, that's awesome. The Darth Vader Mercs. I need, those are army builders right there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got a lot. 
we just like talking to you guys, so don't be shy to just ask questions, say something. <clears throat> Tell us what you guys are into right now. What are you guys up to? Whoa, that guy's That guy's rush. going. Holy cow. We're going 120 and he just flew by us. <laughs> just kidding, guys. Just kidding. That guy's probably going 120. <laughs> John Gilbert says what's up from Columbus. What's up? Where in Columbus? What part? Frankie G says what's up. Karina just texted me and said she lost her debit card, so that's not good. Oh, wow. That's a that's that's great news. Call and cancel. Yep. Uh, Taco Saturday. Taco, Taco Saturday Sal. sounds good. You don't I like tacos though, right? Yeah, I like tacos. Okay. Hi from Australia. Will you buy us a ticket there? Yes. Is this since he's first time at Kokomo? It yes. is. Dice Man's from New Zealand. I want to go to New Zealand. Me too. Just to see like where Lord of the Rings was filmed. Yeah. That would be awesome. They filmed a lot of movies in New Zealand. Yeah, they really have. Yeah. I guess. Oh. <clears throat> Hi from the UK. You guys need to head up to the land to hunt. Oh, okay, here we go. The land. Rose is coming in the next Black Series. I did not know that. Um, Hopefully Cin she's cool in the movie. Cincy, I got the Mezco Deadpool. It's awesome. Uh, Red Suit? Red Suit is an awesome figure. One of my top ten of the year so far. Sorry, I'm having to change lanes. A lot of lanes here. Decided to sell all my legends and switch over to Mezco since he inspired me. There you go. Although, I kind of copped out at the last second because I uh, <coughs> kept about 25 to 30 of them. <coughs> bless you. Germaphobe over here. If you guys don't say bless you, you're just rude. <laughs> I was covering. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't realize how much of a germaphobe he was. I'm a super germaphobe. Oh, good. <clears throat> That's usually where they film Power Rangers at well. Um, yeah, red suit. Good figure. What do you think about it so far? What do you think about the red fig the red figure? The red suit dead deadpool. I always want to call him Daredevil for some reason. Wait, where am I going? Right, okay. Sorry. And thank you everybody for saying bless you. All Cincy said was germaphobe. No, I said bless you. <laughs> Just kidding. Cincy, be careful on those trades at this store. I've heard horror stories. Yeah. I, the worst thing that's going to happen is they... I say no. They offer me really, really low ball amount, and I say no. Yep. And there's no harm in saying no. Right. It, it's kind of like a double-edged sword, if you think about it. Because obviously walking in as someone who wants to trade or sell, you want the most... But then as a business, they got to sell. Well. Yeah, they yeah. got to buy so they can sell to make their margin. So, and I mean, unless it was like an embarrassing amount, like if they offered them like $400 for everything, that would be more of like a reason to get pissed because that would be like a slap in the face. Yeah, honestly, it's like $1,800 to $2,000 worth of stuff. I'll be happy if I get 800 bucks in trade. I know it's like much, much lower than what the value of this stuff is, but at the same time, it saves me money, time, shipping costs, going to the post office, finding boxes, finding freaking bubble wrap, all that stuff that would be necessary for me to sell the stuff. So it's kind of worth it to me if I can get that amount out of it. And time's the most expensive <clears throat> thing right now. Yeah. For sure. Um, let's see. Since there's probably some new people on here, what we are looking for... Oh, someone asked, are you keeping the wrecking crew? Uh, no, that has already been purchased, actually. Um, since he, he... I would assume he has close to 100 figures. Or 100 items, not figures. Oh, Because um, you have 81 Legends and Multiverse, or no? Yeah, I'd say there's probably about 110 or 120 things. Yeah. Uh, Brandon Syme wants to know how you are doing. Pretty good. Garfield Yee says, what's up, guys? Have you guys seen the new King Kingsman? Oh, that movie's awesome. I have not seen it. It's Go very, figure. very over the top and cartoonish at times, but it's a fun movie. Um, Cincy and Josh, top three most wanted black series. He, he says Kit Fisto. That's a good one. Wait, top, top like, wanted that they wanted. haven't made yet? Yes. Oh. Count Dooku, uh, General Grievous, they're all going to be from the prequels because they have yeah, done the prequels yeah. so little justice. 
Um, who's another one that's great from the prequels? I would say... Um, have they done an episode one Obi-Wan? Nope. There you go. Like a Padawan Obi-Wan? Padawan Obi-Wan, General Grievous, and uh, Dooku. I would say without... I agree with his and that... Oh, like my hand there. Uh, Grievous would be my number one, but I'll try to pick something different. I think Kit Fisto is a good one. I think we need more Jedi. Like uh, like an army of Jedi. As odd as this is going to sound, I feel like we need a battle droid. Super battle droid or regular? Both. Just the army builds some. Because they're with coming out with prequel Jedis, <laughs> especially Captain Rex, I feel like they need some, some baddies to fight. You know what they need? Is any of the clones from the Clone Wars series. Yeah, I mean, any... Yeah, any clones. There's so many to choose from that looked awesome. Yeah, it's it's disappointing how uh, how little they've dived into the prequels or even the Clone Wars series alone. Because well, they're doing Rebels like none other, but I get that that's like that's an Disney, ongoing though. thing. Clone Wars was pre-Disney, so... Yeah. Echoes and Fi- Echo and Fives. Yeah, those those two are the best. I wish they would do the ARC Troopers. Oh. That would be flipping awesome. The ARCs and the Republic Commandos. Yes. Um, God, who else? I also really want the Republic Commando from the um, old... Uh, what's it called? Old Republic. Someone said a Watu and Young Anakin 2-pack. Watto? Yeah. That'd be cool. I think they, they need to give the prequels a little more love rock we've already uh went through mcdonald's actually we're we're getting close our eats well just kidding we still have like another goddamn 45 minutes yeah we're uh massage ventures 38 miles away that's not bad what pops are we looking for it's it's a. Uh, are you gonna look at pops at all oh yeah okay are you out of pops or just selective so very, very selective. Very selective. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to buy Pops for New York Comic Con. There's a, I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble. That'll be the first store I hit on, I think it's Thursday morning when they go live. Because I really want that chromed Batman pop that they've got. They also have a glow-in-the-dark Balrog from Lord of the Rings, which looks cool. <clears throat> There's a bunch of pops for New York Comic Con that I Yeah, really that's that's the bad thing because if you guys don't know, uh, Kareen and I, Alexander, see you later, man. Kareen and I are heading down to uh, Tennessee next weekend, next Friday, for Fanboy Expo to meet up with Foxy and quite a few other people. And the damn New York Comic Con pops drop on Thursday, I believe. Mm. And I'm leaving freaking Friday to go to damn Expo. So just get the ones you really want. Bye bye to my money. Um, the thing that sucks is they're all 15 bucks too. Yeah, and plus with effing shipping, you're paying like 5 or $6 for shipping. Uh, anyways, uh, Brandon, I want the Pennywise the Clown. The pop? Like the old school pop? Uh, AMR. Is that Anna Marie? It looks like her. Pop oh, yeah, that's her. Yeah, she says, hey, what's up, Anna? What's up? Uh, you know what I can't wait for is the Pennywise NECA figures. Yeah, they're doing a whole line. Yeah, that, supposedly. That's gonna be awesome. Uh, have you seen the new It movie? Yeah, the pop. I have not seen It. Have you seen it? Uh, I like, saw in a, a theater. Have you seen not it? Not in a theater. <laughs> I, I saw a streamed version. It's <laughs> great. Are you going anywhere else besides Kokomo? Possibly the toy pit. Possibly a toy pit. Um, I feel like we need to hit that Kokomo Walgreens. Because uh, that's People what I find stuff yeah, there, yeah. I'm not chase there. Anna Marie says, yes, that's me. I used my art page's name. Oh, okay. I thought, I can't see with my glasses and the glare. Anna Marie, are you in Chicago? Is that where you are? We're going to C2E2, I think, next year. So we'll be in the Chicago land area. We will be going. It's confirmed. You heard it here first. Or second or third. <laughs> By the way, yeah. So anyone that's in the Chicago area... He and I, and maybe more, people will be going up to uh, C2E2. It'll be my, what, fifth or sixth time there. Miles. Your first, right? Yeah, my first. Street. Gonna get out she says she's right, side of, right outside of Chicago. Wav. Oh, God, I hope I'm saying that name right. It says, love from Chicago. Henry says, OMG, yes. See you there, maybe. Someone says, I live in Wisconsin. That's almost close to Chicago. We're going to do some Giordano's, some Portillo's. 
Where else am I gonna hit? I just Lou Malnati's. All the good food places. Um, JD Gibson, and Josh, do you sell certain things in your collection to acquire more things like Cincy? Uh, no, I have this thing called um, hoarding <laughs> that I'm, I guess, doing right now. I, I'm close to purging out some some of my stuff because I have nine totes full of just shit. Not shit, but like carded stuff, box stuff. So it's, I need to, I don't know, I need to switch some stuff out. Since you know, what time will you be at Barnes and Nobles for NYCC? Oh man, they open at what, 9.30? I'll probably show up there at nine. Do you watch Rick and Morty? I've watched one episode and I want to watch more. Yeah, it's, I heard it's a great show. It's funny. Yeah. It's it's very like adult, like dry humor. Yeah. It's pretty pretty good. I actually used Rick and Morty a Rick and Morty reference in a work video I recently did. Did you really? Yeah. I can do fun stuff like that in work videos. It's, it's an awesome job. So I think I'm going to call it quits on here because my I don't know how, what my phone percentage is you on. Plug in. <laughs> So, we'll be there in about 40 minutes. Yeah, we're going to shoot video in the store. I don't know if you're going to try and go live in the store, but... Um, well, here, before I'm going to record, if you guys want to say hi to yourself, let me record here, if you guys want to say hi. So you can be in a Josh yeah, Pence so official you'll, video. You'll be like uh, in the video of a video. It's like Inception. Yeah, it's Inception. So go ahead and blast the uh, chat, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I see a Cincy on here. Blast the chat if you guys want to. Oh shoot, this is not working. Well, how does how do people do this in videos? No idea. Okay, it's kind of coming up. There we go. Awesome. There we go. Yep, a lot of people are going. And don't say anything that's going to get me age restricted either. <laughs> But yeah, I'll uh, I'll try to go live from my channel for for you guys, just for like a very very quick couple minutes, just to show you guys around the store um, after I get my stuff recorded. Cause that's the hardest part about going to a store like this is shopping and recording at the same time. Do you ever have that problem? Yeah, well, I'll, you, I'll forget to record yeah. just because I'm looking at everything and taking everything in. <laughs> Yeah, so that's bad. So I'll get up. We will get off here now, and uh, I guess turn the notification bell thing on if you guys want to tune in within the next hour or so. I'll go live from here again, and then make sure you subscribe to this guy, Cincy Nerd, and then we'll be going live from his channel later tonight at the Nerd Bar, going over what we got, and probably just chatting. Yep. Just talking, probably NYCC stuff. Um, and everything that he's donating to me from his nerd bar, nerd, nope, we're not doing that? Okay, that's next time.